Hello, Facebook world. My name is Kara Canuck and I am with Des Moines Mom and we are joined today by Heather Ewig and Heather is with Earl May Nursery and Garden and she is going to take us through how to make a lovely holiday container for, is this more outdoors? Yes. Yeah, this is going to be more for outdoors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, before we get started, I was going to just tell everybody that we are also giving away a $25 gift card. So make sure that you comment with any questions that you have later on. We'll make sure that Earl May hops back in and answers those. And then I will post the details on how you can enter to win the $25 gift card from Earl May. All right, take it away, Heather. Okay. So today we're gonna to be doing a uh, outdoor container that can be used uh, basically throughout the winter time. Um, I've decided to keep it very simple. Um, so the container that we're working with is gonna be uh, pre-done already. And basically we're upscaling it. We're gonna keep it simple and make it elegant. Um, you can choose your colors. Um, I've decided to go with blue and silver. And then you have decided to go with the red. Red. Red and natural. Okay. Um, okay, so we can keep it really simple and just go with this guy, right? And tell me what this is, Heather. Okay, so this is just like a basic, what we would call like a drop-in. So you can use this directly on your porch or you can actually drop it in an existing container uh, that you have, okay? So it is already pre-done. Um, so it, it's, you really don't have to do too much to it. You can make it as elaborate as you want or as simple as you want. Okay, what is this called? Like if I was to go to my Earl May store and ask for this. Okay, so if you're wanting to start from scratch, the pot that it's in is a uh, wax fiber pot. Okay. But we actually just call these containers actually just like a drop-in, like uh, the winter container, basically. Okay. okay. Awesome. I didn't know if it had another special name. Nope. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to start off with is, is well, we've got our uh, uh, blueberry uh, juniper, okay? Okay. And then we've got our Port Oxford cedar. So we're going to actually start off with the Port Oxford cedar, which is going to be like very long flowing, okay? And we're going to use this as a uh, height, okay? So, and then basically I like to start off with kind of more in the, uh, um, stay within maybe like the uh, one third uh, outer portion to the inner portion, okay? And then if you're, if you get a container that is been outside and it's frozen, it's best to have it thawed out for a couple of days before you start, okay? Um, so basically you're just gonna shove branches in, kind of go more towards the center. More towards the center, okay. More towards the center. Oh, okay. I was kind of concerned that I wouldn't be nope, able to should push in pretty easy. Yes. Again, if it is the container is frozen and you want to upgrade, you'll want it thawed out for a couple of days before you do this, okay? And are we doing this more so it's like towards, are we doing like a circle or are we doing like it towards more? We're going to go all the way around, so you're going to make a circle. Okay. And the like these branches that I have, the juniper branches, can okay. how did those like how do I purchase those? Do they come as a pack? Do I have to buy them individually? Right. So they're actually gonna uh, the uh, the greens are actually gonna be coming in come in bundles. Okay. So you might have three, you might have four, you might have more than that. It just kind of depends on how big. Uh, the sections are that they use to cut. Okay. Um, and you can you can uh, do any type of uh, uh, greenery that you want. Um, but I really like the Port Oxford for height um, and for a very soft texture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I know this is as pretty as yours, but we'll go with it. 
All right, so now we're gonna do the uh, blueberry juniper, okay? okay. And, and every container nice. is really gonna have its front. Um, so you're gonna actually kind of pick uh, a front and have that be like a focal point, okay? Uh -huh. So whatever, whatever part is your front, okay? And then I actually have a, some pieces here um, that aren't exactly equal, but that's okay. So, but my larger piece, uh, I'm gonna actually uh, divide the pot into three, okay? So I'm going to put a, um, kind of figure out like a triangle, okay? So these are gonna go towards the front. So just kind of stick it towards the front and shove it down, okay? Mm -hmm. Is this gonna be an accent towards the front? Oh, I just sprayed dirt everywhere. All right, it's all good. Uh, is there like a goal as to like how far I should shove these in? Uh, just as long as they're firm. And then I'm gonna take my second piece and I'm gonna go on the other side of the front and I'm gonna place her right in just so that she sticks in the pot pretty good. And then my last piece, I'm gonna put more towards the back, okay? Okay. And if you have four pieces, just uh, divide your pot into quarters. Okay. There really isn't no wrong or right way to do this. It just kind of depends on the look you're going for, okay? Green, that's the look I'm going for. Okay, all right. Okay, you ready for the next one? Use our Port Orford, Port Orford Cedar Brand bunches. Which oh, so, right, so the, the uh, Port Oxford is gonna, the, the cedar, is going to be the first one that we work with. Okay. It's going to be more of the flat needle. Yep. And then the second one is going to be like the blueberry juniper. Very easy to remember because it looks like it's got like blueberries on it. Yeah. Okay. 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 So next we're going to go with the balls that I have picked out here. And then you've picked out some there, right? Yep. All right. So towards the front. And then you're gonna, I like to create a little bit of height uh, mm -hmm. with one of them. So I usually put one down a little lower than the other, one up a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to kind of give a little bit of height variation, just like so. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna go with the pine cones. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so for my one piece, I, I actually kind of like to fan it out, mm -hmm. but I also like to create ver uh, uh, various mm -hmm. different heights. You can do a straight line and go short, tall, short. Uh, you can create, we'll have one that sits back a little bit. It just kind of depends on the look that you're going for again. I like that everything is basically just shove it in and go for shove it. Shove it in. It's very simple. So if you remember the KISS theory, keep it super simple. Yep. And if you need to trim the, uh, the pick down a little bit to get it shoved down in there a little bit further, you certainly can. Very nice. That looks good. All right. So now the last one is, is we're going to go with our sticks. Okay. Yeah. And again, we're going to try to do a triangle. Okay. But we're trying to create depth and we're also trying to add a little bit of height and color uh, with the green to accent the color that we've chosen. Okay. So try to bring one up a little bit further off to the side towards more towards the front. And if I 
go to Earl May to buy the sticks? What types, like, I know my sticks are more red, yours are kind of white. What types of um, offerings do you have? So we've got various different ones. We've got natural colored. We actually have like the red dogwood type. We have curly willow. And then we also have our painted birch sticks, which come in uh, red, gold, silver. Okay. Okay. You know, I didn't really, I couldn't really picture how like all of these things were going to fit together, but I appreciate the different textures and, you know, that all of the different elements bring to it, whether that's like the bumpiness of the pine cones and the round smoothness of the ornaments, but like the height of the sticks. And then right. the yeah, it's, it's, it's very simple. It's very elegant. You can choose different colors, different color schemes. I chose like, you know, the blue and the silver. You chose like the, uh, the red um, and the natural. Um, over here, I have chosen, I did one before. I got like chocolate and gold. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did another blue and silver one there before. So, but it's very simple, very easy. Um, and then once you are all done, right. um, take it outside water really good. You may need to water it if the temperatures are warm. You may need to water it daily or every other day until that soil is frozen. Once it is frozen, you do not need to do anything more to it. Really? Like yeah. frozen, like frozen is our goal. Frozen is the goal. Okay. How long will it, will it stay and last after it's frozen and outside? Okay. So it can last a few months. Some of the uh, uh, pieces like your cedar and then your juniper may actually turn a copper to a brown uh, as the season goes on. Um, but for the most part, it'll actually stay green until, you know, end of February to early part of March, possibly. Okay. And that's awesome. And especially if it's going to last that long, you know, I've picked obviously a very holiday color scheme, but with, you know, the one that you're showing us there with the chocolate and the gold and the blue, like, you know, those things don't scream Christmas and holidays. So it definitely can take you through the season a lot longer. Correct. Yep. Um, you know, and I'm guessing that there are other, what do, are there other color of like ornaments and bulbs too, that they, they could come in and choose from? Right. So we also have uh, a couple of different colors of blue. We've got gold. We have shiny gold, matte gold. Uh, same thing with the, uh, the red and the silver. They're shiny and then there's matte and then there's like the chocolate color, uh, shiny, matte. Um, and then you don't have to go with the bulbs. You can actually stick with uh, a very simple uh, natural. Uh, you can go with like pine cones, uh, the natural sticks. Uh, you can go with birch logs. Birch logs is really popular. Um, so definitely there, 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 there's no limit to what you can do. Right. And I love the fact that like, you know, this is a container, you know, a basic container that we started with, but you can also use the same principles and decorating items to add more flair to a wreath and, you know, make that super fun too. Exactly. Yep. So what types, of, are there wreaths and stuff available there in store that people could do the same type of thing to? Yes, yes. So we've got uh, various different sizes of wreaths. We have plain wreaths. We have uh, ones that are mixed. I already have pine cones and berries on it. Um, we actually have swags. Um, so you can definitely do something like that. There's live garland. You can definitely do that to the live garland if you want. So uh, yeah, it's, it's endless. Okay, well, that sounds great. I mean, it's always fun to transition your front porch and your front doorstep from pumpkins and all of the things that you have for fall and take it into Christmas. But then, you know, after Christmas is done, like me, you know, just take out your red ornaments and look at putting in something else too. Yeah, you certainly can. You might have to bring it in and let it thaw a few days before you get those red balls out. Right, that is true. And all of these supplies and things are available right now at Earl May, correct? Correct, yep. Okay. And are they able to, I know at one time, you know, they could call ahead of time. Are you guys still offering curbside service? 
Uh, we are. We're still offering the curbside service, so definitely um, you can. Uh, uh, there's also uh, you can do like uh, like you can do like your own container if you want. Um, I know that's on. There's like a forty dollar size and a fifty dollar size. Just kind of depends there. Um, but definitely you can kind of do like a pre-order and then do curbside pickup as well. Awesome. I think that is a great option for people that, you know, Earl May is serving and catering to the public. So yeah, that sounds great. I love our holiday containers. I think that there are lots of options to make it your own. So if you need to make, take your front steps into the holidays, Earl May has got everything you need. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time today, Heather. We appreciate your expertise and your flair for design. You're welcome. <laughs>